Um, so this is my second week of weekly vlogging so hopefully it'll be a little bit better than last week um, I know that I didn't do a lot of talking and I probably didn't show you enough sewing in my last one but that's just how my week turned out um, but I am determined to do more talking in my vlogs and not be so self-conscious about it so here's to me getting a bit more confident with vlogging um, so this morning I'm just heading to a friend's house um, she's a lady who I used to work with um, and we're going to talk some sewing. Uh, we're both trying to work out how to make the Ella blouse a little bit longer because we love it, but it is a little bit short. Like, I like high-waisted stuff, but even for me, it's a little bit too high-waisted, like, to wear stuff with. So, um, we're just going to have a little chat about that. And then I need to come home and clean because Kenna's sister and her boyfriend are coming to stay um, tonight, like, for a little while so I need to make sure the house is looking nice for them and also just to clean it anyway but I am also hoping to get some sewing done today so I'll let you know how I go with that. So I'm wearing my Isla top again from Tosuti Fabrics. It's really cold today. It was like 17 degrees yesterday um, and I think it's similar today. So um, this is a really great top for autumn and winter because you can layer it. Um, I'm still wearing thongs. I live in my thongs so I find it hard to transition. Um, into other clothes. I'm just having trouble finding my car keys, which is really not a good thing. Um, also, just to let you know, so vlogs will be going up on a Wednesday, so I'll be starting my week on a Thursday, which kind of bothers me a little bit because I like to start my week when I do all my playing and everything on a Sunday, but um, because I obviously want to upload these midweek, I'll be starting them on a Thursday. Um, so yeah, I'm not sure where my keys are though, so I'm going to have to go and find them because I'm running late. So I've done most of my jobs for today, which is good. Um, I just need to give the floor a quick vacuum, um, but I am currently just taking advantage of the amazing lighting in this room to take some photos for little Miss Lorraine. How cute are these cushion covers? Um, so this one here is our grey quilted cushion and our pink quilted cushion and also our new statement range of cushion covers. So these are really gorgeous. They're all one of a kind. Um, and I think they just look really cute together. It's nice to be able to like make things that people can mix and match with. So that's what I'm going for um, with this collection definitely. So that's what I'm up to at the moment. Um, I'm just about to clean up my sewing room. Well, my temporary sewing room um, because it's a bit of a big sty. Uh, and then I can get making some more cushion covers and hopefully start on my Numa tank, not my Ogden cami as I keep wanting to call it. So I'll keep you guys posted. Hey everyone, so it's a lot later in the afternoon now. Um, I am just getting some sewing in for Little Miss Lorraine and I'm so excited with how these cushions are turning out. They are so cute. I'll give you a little sneak peek. Um, this is definitely one of my favourites. How bloody cute is that? That was very Australian, wasn't it? It is so cute. I really want to keep all of these for myself, so I need to get them up on the shop very quickly, otherwise I might do, but I just love this fabric. How gorgeous is it? Uh, statement cushions, here we come. Um, so I'm doing another two of them, um, and then I just need to overlock all the, whoop, overlock all the insides. Um, and then yeah, that'll be those done. And then I might try and start sewing my Numa tank um, as well today. Or I could trace off my pattern pieces for my McCall's shirt dress tunic thing. Hmm, I'm not sure. I'll let you know what I end up doing. So today it is like the coldest grayest day we've had for the year so um, I'm happy to just sit at home and sew today which is exactly what I'm going to do um, so I am planning on making the <clears throat> Numa tank today because I want to take photos of that and my Virginia leggings which I haven't put on the blog yet um, this weekend so I'm definitely keen to make that one today um, and I would like to trace off and at least cut out my McCall's pattern um, if I can't sew it. So that's sort of my plan for today. I've got a fair bit of admin to do for Little Miss Lorraine um, and also some stuff for Jessica Lorraine. Um, 
don't mind the mess in the background so yeah that's what i'm doing today also really want to take some photos of these today but the weather outside for sure is a little bit hideous so hopefully at some point the sun comes out fingers so crossed i'm just trying to take some photos um for the shop of the new cushion covers that i've just sewn but I've just realised that I'm not a stylist, so this isn't really going that well. Although I think I've got a kind of cute setup now, actually, um, with my little fiddle leaf down there. Um, so hopefully they look okay. Um, but yeah, I'm not a professional photographer and I'm not a professional stylist. Um, but yeah, I think they turn out pretty well anyway. Um, I've also been sewing my Numa tank. Excuse me, Bailey, get down, please. Uh, yeah, been sewing my Numa tank. I'm a bit worried it's a bit small, so I'm going to try it on in a minute and I'll show you and see what This is my current progress on my Numa tank. This is the bra version. I'm actually doing making two um, versions. I'm doing just the bra and also the bra with the tank um, because I know that I'll use both. That's our opal. That's our opal. That's our bird opal. Um, so I really like the way that this comes together, the way that the elastic's all folded in and under. Um, I was worried it was going to be a bit small, but I guess that's what a tank's supposed to be, isn't it? Uh, the bra, um, that's sort of the point. Um, so I'm really happy with how that's coming together. These are my Virginia leggings. I don't think I've actually shown, well, I've shown them to you, but um, I haven't blogged them yet. So um, it's probably a little bit much wearing them both together. But anyway, uh, so yeah, that's current progress. So what I need to do now is... Um, do the elastic on the bottom of the other one. I'm just doing them both at the same time so then I've got them both done. Um, I just need to add the straps onto this one and then I think this one's pretty much done. Um, oops. And then for the other one I'll need to add the tank bit onto it. But overall this is a really quick make and I really really like the way that it comes together um, construction wise. So I'll keep you updated on my progress way later in the day now I haven't done anything more on my Numa tank because I've been finishing off some cushions for little Miss Serene and oh my god I'm just in love with all of these cushions and I really want to keep them all for myself so eek. anyway I'm like so in love so I'll turn you around and show you them how gorgeous are they oh my god these are all like I had like remnants of um designer fabrics so they're all one of a kind um, but look, this one here, oh my god, it's like me in a cushion. It's so perfect. Um, so yeah, these will all be available to purchase from the website. By the time this video is up, they should all be up there. So make sure you head on over there and check them out if you're interested. Okay, so now what I'm doing is I'm just fitting it to myself to work out how long the straps need to be. Um, but I actually need Kenneth to help me because they cross over at the back. I'll see if I can show you. Like that. Um, and I need him to make sure they're all crossed properly and that this bit's all in. But I think that's pretty well where I want it to sit. Um, I think next time I'll definitely size up. I think it's because I'm using scuba but it's not like... Same problem happened with all of my... With my Virginia leggings, because I didn't um, account for the fact that scuba is not as stretchy as normal um, fabric, so you are supposed to have something with some amount of lycra in it, and I'm not sure that scuba has that. So, anyway, it fits really nice, but I think next time I might size up to the next size just to make it a little bit um, more roomy, just because it's a bit snug and a bit like pull you in and I hate that um with my anxiety I hate feeling like things are pushing on me um but yeah anyway I'm really really happy with this so that's probably all I'm going to show you of this tonight because I think Kenneth's coming home soon but I'll definitely keep you up to date with my progress although actually I just realized by the time you see this video it will have already been in my makes video for April because I'm filming that this weekend but anyway you can go have a look at that now if you want to see it. If not, um, this is sort of showing you the process anyway. So, happy Saturday. So, um, today I really need to clean up this room because it has become an absolute pigsty. Um, I cut out the pattern pieces for my McCall's um, tunic pattern last night. So, I just need to actually cut out 
like for my main fabric. Um, so I'm going to do that today. I need to overlock the cushion covers that I made yesterday. Um, and yeah, just generally give this room a massive clean. So I'll check back in with you a little later on in the afternoon now. And I am just trying on my new Numa tank. So this is the actual tank version with the top on there. And oh my god, I'm so in love with it. It's so cute. Um, so I'm just going to spin you around and show you in the mirror. I'm just um, working on the straps at the moment. How cute is it? Oh my gosh. Look. I'll show you the back in a minute. It is so cute. Like I'm actually so in love with it. This was exactly what I had in mind before I found this pattern. So I'm so pleased that I found it. Um, the hardest thing is probably this bit, which is... Um, doing the straps so I'm just trying to work out what length I want them and making sure that they're crossed over the back properly because that impacts on like how long you need them here um, so I'll just spin you around again so you can see the back. So this is the back I know it's not very good <laughs> video um, but if you want to see the whole thing you can go back to my last video which will be my April makes which this will be in so I'm really trying to get this finished today so that I can actually film my makes video this afternoon so fingers crossed I get it done but how cute is the back I just need to make sure these straps are okay and then I can go ahead and sew them down and I'm finished this is such an easy construction top um, and I think I'm definitely gonna be adding a heap of these to my wardrobe the aftermath of filming I've just finished filming my April makes for you which you will have already seen by the time this video goes up and my little helper falling asleep on the bed. So I have now finished my Numa tank and oh my god I'm so happy with it. It is so cute. I love this. It's exactly what I had in mind when I was thinking about making a top like this last year. So I'm really happy that I finished it. So I'm a little bit like out of breath because I've just done so much talking. I was trying to get that video filmed quite quickly because a Kenneth watching the football and I was worried he was going to yell and I didn't have much space left on my memory cards so I was trying really hard to get that done in a short amount of time so I'm a little bit out of breath now um, so yeah what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go and take photos of these because it's overcast outside which makes it perfect for taking photos up against our dark grey wall um, and I think these will look really nice against that um, when the sun's on that wall it looks really stupid so Anyway, I'm going to go and do that now because I haven't actually shown um, my Virginia leggings on the blog yet. I've vlogged about them, but I oh, I've vlogged about them, but I haven't actually blogged about them. So I'm just about to go and film that one, and then I'm going to um, start cutting out my McCall's shirt dress tunic. Um, just so that I've got all the bits cut out and I might try and start sewing tonight if I get time um, but we'll see how it go. I'll keep you in the loop anyway. Um, it's my first day back at work for a couple of weeks, so that's really not exciting. Um, so I won't be doing a heap of vlogging today, um, obviously, because I'll be at work, but um, I just wanted to check in and say hi. I know I didn't really vlog anything yesterday, but we've had family staying with us again, like Kenna's sister, so um, yeah, I haven't been wanting to vlog around them. So anyway, um, also today is the first day of Me Made May, so I am going to be participating. Um, I didn't have like my Instagram account and everything last year so I'm really excited to give that a go um, but I haven't had a chance to take a photo of my outfit yet and I think I'm going straight like to catch up with my girlfriends after work tonight so I'm not sure if I'll get a chance but anyway I'm wearing my Jolene um, shirt from Ready to Sew which is a really really gorgeous shirt you guys have seen this before it's one I patent tested um, and I'm wearing my Mabel skirt which you can't see because it's black and tights because it's cold so and a cardigan because it's freezing um so i'll try and check back in with you later um so i have been a really terrible vlogger this week but we've had family down and um i just haven't had a lot of time to vlog so anyway um we just bought a new cage for our rainbow lorikeet 
He's not out of the cage very often because he absolutely hates Kenneth, like he will attack him. Um, a couple of years ago he got quite hormonal and I think he thinks I'm his mate. So um, he sees Kenneth as like competition. So um, he doesn't get on with Kenneth and he's fine out of the cage for a while but then he can get a little bit aggressive. So um, he's having such a fun time out of the cage though. But I'll show you the one we just bought him. It's actually a mansion. It's way bigger than what it looked in the show. you show them the cage? Are you going to show them your cage? Why don't you go in your new one? So this is the new cage. Oh, <laughs> this is the new cage. It is like absolutely massive. And I was really hoping it was going to fit there. Um, because this is in my craft room. And he loves it when we put it here together. But unfortunately it's like way too big. So I don't know where we're going to put it. Um, but now I just have to try and get him in there. I can't handle him. Because he'll try and bite me. So. See how this goes. <laughs> 